Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com and I'm going to show you how to make sure that your pages printed from Photoshop um, have a nice even margin around them using the Epson 4900 uh, Stylus Pro 4900 printer. So let's go up to File, Print, and you notice that the default behavior um, is that we're going to have a small top margin and then a big gap at the bottom. And <clears throat> the reason for this is that the default is that there is a, actually a larger uh, margin at the bottom and even though we have center image checked off um, you still end up with this seemingly offset uh, sheet of paper or, or image uh, on your paper. And <clears throat> so for this example just to uh, quick rundown. Um, I'm using the enhanced matte um, paper with the photo black ink and so I'm making sure I have my correct paper profile set and just your typical um, uh, print settings and printing a 16 bit since I'm on a Mac. Um, so if I come in here to print settings here getting to the point very quickly is the most important thing you really need to see. Um, in the paper size you have sheet if you hover over this, you'll see that this little box comes up that says the margins are um, 0 0.56 for the bottom. If I go over 11 uh, US letter, um, you'll notice that it's even around. You can choose that option, and you can also choose um, this maximum option, um, which maximizes. So if you choose this option, you may get a little clipping if you have an image like mine that's um, tailored exactly for it. Um, Eight and a half by 11 inch print. Um, if I choose maximum then I won't get that clipping error um, and things will work out the way that I want. So I actually prefer this option but either of these as you can notice by looking at the little yellow thing um, will do that. This is a lot clearer on the Mac than it is on the PC and I'll discuss that uh, more on my blog. But on the Mac it's pretty easy. Just set this uh, either one of these and you won't have that problem. Um, just for this print to make sure you know that everything else is right and just to kind of um, give people who are interested uh, more information I'll come down here and show you from my printer settings um, I'm choosing a manual feed um, because I'm going to just insert this page in I'm using matte paper so I'm choosing the ultra premium presentation matte because that's the paper I purchased from Epson um, I'm choosing 16-bit output and on this particular profile I'm choosing 1440, which is fine. Uh, you can do 2880 as well, but on this particular one, it's fine. Um, and then I'm doing my high speed. You'll notice here in advanced color settings, um, this driver is a lot more friendly than the PC um, because it'll actually tell me the appropriate color sync profile is this. And if you notice over here on the side, the printer profile matches in Photoshop. So. That's a great feature. It doesn't exist on the PC. Um, so Mac users, you kind of have a little advantage there to get, make sure things are done right. There are no roll paper settings and advanced media controls, all the default options. So if I hit File Print, I'd be in great shape right now. So I'm going to hit Save and watch what happens. When I do that, um, Photoshop will show you exactly what's going to happen. So it shifted my image down, put it in the page where it belonged. Everything's cool. Again, this is really easy on the Mac. PC, not so much. We'll cover that later.